The recent buzz in the boxing world revolves around the potential match between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney following Garcia's victory over Oscar Duarte. Oscar De La Hoya is enthusiastic about organizing a Garcia versus Haney fight. However, Garcia currently doesn't seem inclined to face Haney as he isn't keen on that fight at the moment. Despite Garcia's reluctance, De La Hoya is determined to orchestrate this matchup, aiming for the biggest fights possible. Known for his independent decisions, Ryan Garcia seems to march to the beat of his own drum. Interestingly, Devin Haney holds a lesser-known victory over Garcia from their amateur days. When asked about Garcia's development since their amateur bout, Haney acknowledged that Garcia has shown improvement. Reflecting on their past encounter, Haney expressed confidence in Garcia's growth as a fighter. Since their days in the amateur circuit, I don't perceive a significant improvement in Ryan Garcia's skills. This raises questions about Garcia's reluctance to face Devin Haney. In today's video, we'll explore expert opinions on a potential clash between Haney and Garcia. Following Garcia's knockout win over Oscar Duarte last Saturday, speculation has intensified about Garcia potentially facing Devin Haney next. Haney, with 30 wins and 15 knockouts, is the former undisputed lightweight champion. The 25-year-old has relinquished his belts and shifted his focus to seeking further glory in the super lightweight division. He's set to take on WBC champion Regis Progre, a test anticipated to be one of his toughest yet. Amidst this, discussions have emerged regarding Haney reconnecting with Garcia, a familiar opponent from their amateur days. Now, Oscar de la Hoya, Garcia's promoter, has expressed interest in arranging a fight between Garcia and the winner of the upcoming bout between Haney and Regis Progre. This news has stirred a mix of excitement and apprehension within the boxing community. Garcia potentially faces a challenging fight against a technically superior opponent who has previously bested him. Garcia's journey back to the top has been quite dramatic. After a setback against Davis earlier in the year, Garcia took a significant step by joining forces with renowned trainer Derek James. This move was strategic, aiming to refine his technique and overall approach to the sport. Garcia's comeback victory showcased his resilience and adaptability. However, the journey toward redemption in boxing is seldom a straightforward path, and De La Hoya's recent announcement has introduced another twist to Garcia's story. De La Hoya's envisioned path for Garcia's future clashes with the fighter's own career roadmap. While De La Hoya envisions a potential blockbuster fight, Garcia, under James's guidance, is focused on establishing a more robust foundation before taking on the top-tier fighters in his weight class. This difference in perspective is a common occurrence in boxing, where promoters must balance the allure of lucrative fights with the developmental needs of their fighters. Oscar's strength contrasts with Ryan Garcia's hesitance to engage in a bout with Haney, grounded in a realistic assessment of his current position in the sport. Haney, renowned for his exceptional technical prowess, athleticism, and strategic approach, poses a formidable challenge. Facing Haney represents a significant leap in competition. Haney's impressive record as a former undisputed lightweight world champion underscores his prowess in the ring. For Garcia, who is still refining his skills and adapting to a new training regimen, an early matchup with Haney might pose a considerable risk. In contrast to the daunting challenge of squaring off against Haney, Garcia has shown interest in fighting Rolando Raleigh Romero. While Romero is a formidable opponent known for his power, he lacks the technical finesse of Haney. This proposed matchup would serve as a more calculated step up for Garcia, allowing him to test his evolving skill set against a challenging but less intricate opponent. A victory over Romero would bolster Garcia's confidence and mark an important accomplishment as he prepares to face more formidable adversaries. Garcia's hesitance towards fighting Haney stems from their past encounter, contributing to his cautious approach in considering future opponents. During their time in the amateur circuit, Haney and Garcia have been acquainted for over a decade. Reports suggest they clashed in six instances during their amateur days. In one of Haney's early outings in the unpaid ranks, he supposedly suffered a decision loss to Garcia. However, Haney managed to avenge that defeat at the U.S. National Junior Championships in 2014, securing a win over Garcia by decision. In 2020, Haney mentioned to Chris Mannix that Garcia hadn't secured any victories over him, stating confidently, I beat him every time. Don't believe anything he says. 
Haney expressed his belief that although Ryan Garcia has improved since their amateur days, the extent of his progress isn't substantial. According to Haney, a potential fight between them wouldn't differ much from their amateur bouts. He highlighted their competitiveness in the amateur ranks, where they went back and forth. However, Haney doubts it would be a closely contested fight if they were to face off now. However, what's intriguing is that Garcia's father disclosed to Blue Blood Sports TV that his son had caused Haney some trouble. According to Henry Garcia, Ryan managed to give Haney his first eight count and rocked him. It's worth noting that in amateur fights, a referee holds the authority to initiate an eight count without an actual knockdown being officially recorded. On the contrary, Haney vehemently asserts that he has never suffered a knockdown, whether in amateur matches, professional bouts, or even during training sessions in the gym. Haney's statements mirror his confidence and emphasize the importance he places on the accuracy of his boxing record. His denial of ever experiencing a knockdown underscores his reputation for resilience and skill inside the ring. This exchange also sheds light on the intense nature of boxing rivalries. Claims and counterclaims can intensify the competitive spirit, adding fuel to the fire of the rivalry between fighters. Devin Haney also shared his views on Ryan Garcia's career direction, noting a pattern in Garcia's tendency to challenge top-tier fighters but not follow through with those fights. Haney highlighted multiple instances where Garcia called out notable opponents such as Javier Fortuna, Joseph Diaz, Isaac Cruz, Gervonta Davis, and Manny Pacquiao. However, these proposed fights never materialized. Haney's remarks suggest a perception that Garcia might use these callouts primarily for publicity and attention rather than a genuine intent to step into the ring with these opponents. This perspective unveils the intricate dynamics of fight negotiations and the strategies employed by boxers and their teams to generate excitement and sustain public interest. Haney's critique of Garcia's approach in selecting opponents raises a broader conversation about the authenticity and sincerity within the competitive landscape of the sport. Ryan Garcia often calls out fighters but doesn't follow through with those matchups. He's mentioned fighting various opponents like Pacquiao but never actually faced them. Looking ahead, the possibility of a fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia continues to intrigue boxing fans. Haney remains uncertain about Garcia's readiness to face him, acknowledging that the decision rests with Garcia's team. Recognizing the potential for a lucrative and highly anticipated bout between them, Haney hints that a showdown between him and Garcia seems inevitable at some point. Boxing promoter Eddie Hearn is enthusiastic about witnessing a Garcia versus Haney fight. He recently shared his thoughts on the potential clash between these two fighters, offering insights into the complexities and excitement surrounding this potential matchup in the 140-pound division. Hearn initiated the conversation by addressing Devin Haney's transition to the 140-pound division, acknowledging the mix of challenges and opportunities this move offers. He highlighted that while Haney might discover advantages in this new weight class, Uncertainties linger regarding his size and strength in comparison to his time at 135 pounds. Expressing admiration for Haney's decision to move up, Hearn views it as a strategic move, particularly if Haney succeeds in clinching a belt at 140 pounds after his accomplishments at 135. Hearn finds the potential fight between Haney and Ryan Garcia particularly thrilling. He emphasized that both fighters have ties to Dean and Golden Boy, making it relatively easy to organize the fight. Hearn views the winner of the Haney vs. Pry fight as a natural contender for a matchup against Ryan Garcia. He foresees this matchup as a monumental event in boxing, possibly taking place in Vegas or Los Angeles, highlighting its significance in the current sporting landscape. Despite the apparent feasibility of arranging the Haney vs. Garcia fight, Hearn acknowledged potential hurdles, particularly in navigating negotiations with other promoters and broadcasters. He referenced Bob Arum's discussions with Oscar De La Hoya regarding a potential fight between Ryan Garcia and Teofimo Lopez, illustrating the complexities involved in negotiations across different broadcasting platforms. Hearn also touched upon the challenges of dealing with fighters like Teofimo Lopez, hinting at potentially unrealistic financial demands that could complicate arranging a fight involving Ryan Garcia. In contrast, 
he praised his positive working relationship with Devin Haney, emphasizing the smoother negotiation process. Stressing the importance of fairness while ensuring fighters receive their due value, Eddie Hearn underscored the significance of a bout between Haney and Garcia. He highlighted that this matchup has long been discussed and eagerly anticipated. Hearn envisions it as a potential mega-fight, one capable of elevating the victor to top pound-for-pound -pound status in the boxing world. His remarks mirror his belief in the marketability and competitive nature of this proposed bout. People have been talking about Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia for a long time, and it's a mega fight, said Hearn. He further emphasized that if Regis manages to defeat Devin Haney decisively, it could propel him into the conversation as a top pound-for-pound -pound fighter. The potential showdown between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney not only excites boxing fans with its promise of an intense clash, but also holds the potential for substantial pay-per-view revenue. This showdown between two of boxing's most vibrant and popular young stars has the potential to generate significant financial gains. Both Garcia and Haney have amassed substantial followings, not only within the traditional boxing community, but also among a younger, more digitally engaged audience. This broader appeal amplifies the fight's marketability, rendering it an enticing prospect for broadcasters and promoters. The pay-per-view model thrives on renowned names and compelling storylines, and a Garcia vs. Haney fight excels in both aspects. Garcia's explosive power and charismatic persona, coupled with Haney's technical mastery and unbeaten record, form a captivating narrative that could substantially boost PPV sales. Additionally, the fight's outcome bears considerable implications for the future landscape of the lightweight division, adding an extra layer of excitement and intrigue. Yet the decision rests with Ryan Garcia regarding which path he chooses to pursue. Will he opt for another significant payday fight against Haney, assuming Haney defeats Progress? Or will he continue to pursue a match with Rolando Raleigh Romero? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.